Hello boys and girls, what's up, it is Drew here of course, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Hero Bin mod uh, for Minecraft version 1.4.7 and above, that means it should work for future versions to come. Uh, with that said, uh, we're going to go and get started, you need to open up the one link in the description, and it will take you to this little uh, forum page here. This is Hero Bin's main forum page, um, basically all you do here is we need to go to find the download section, so we're going to go and scroll down and find the download area. Now, right here, you'll see a little tab. It'll say download with a spoiler. Go and hit the spoiler. Now, you, there is an installer for it, but I'm not going to show how to use that because some people don't like to use installers for whatever reason they have. So, I'm just showing you guys how to install it manually. Um, so, what we need to do is right here, it'll say Minecraft 1.4.7 or whatever version you have. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it matches the version of Minecraft that you own. Um, so, go ahead and click the click here button. I'll go and open it in a new tab. Now, it's going to take you to an add file link. You're going to have to wait five seconds. Now, we have to go and skip the ad, so skip ad. Now, the only thing I don't agree with is our host is that they use this site, which takes 30 seconds to download. So, go and hit the free download, and I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to bother wasting our time. Uh, just make sure you save it to your desktop, or if you save it to your downloads or whatever, just make sure you know where it gets saved to so we can speed the tutorial up for you guys. Um, so, go ahead and close, your, go ahead and close uh, this little link here. Um, now, don't leave this page yet. We do need to have the forum up. Now, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to go to the audio mod and mod loader section. So, I'm going to go and open this up in a new tab. So, go ahead and scroll down, and we need to go find... Oh, first close that. We need to go find uh, mod loader, which is right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, AdFly version of it. I'm going to open it in a new tab. So, we'll go to that. So, now we're going to have to wait yet another five seconds of our life, but hopefully we'll be able to get through it. So, we can go ahead and skip the ad. Now, it's going to download. Now, mine gets sent to my downloads folder, but yet, again, I highly recommend saving everything you download from the tutorial on your desktop. Go and close this. Now, we need to go ahead and download, download Audio Mod. So, go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And we see Audio Mod right here for Minecraft version 1.4.7 or whatever version of Minecraft you have. Make sure everything has the corresponding uh, version that you download as well, because it'll just make it, everything work correctly. Go ahead and download the AdFly direct version. I'm going to go ahead and click the AdFly link. And it's going to take me to another AdFly thingy where we have to wait five seconds, unfortunately, yet again. So go ahead and wait and skip the ad. And now this is going to get sent to my downloads folder. Again, save it to your desktop. And go ahead and close everything. Now we don't need the, the internet anymore, so go ahead and close it. Now, as you can see, I have my .minecraft backed up to my desktop, so I can show you guys how to get there in a second, so you can back it up if you want, and a couple other folders. Uh, so let's go down here to the bottom left, hit there, and type percent app data percent, and then hit enter. Now in here, there's a folder called .minecraft. Uh, we're going to open this up, and then we're going to open the folder called bin. And now we're just going to keep this right here for now. Now we need to locate where we downloaded our stuff. Now, if you didn't save your stuff to the desktop like I said you did, um, in my case, my stuff gets saved to my uh, downloads folder. I'm going to go and move these three files to the desktop. Now, you should have these three files downloaded. Mod Loader, Audio Mod, Audio Mod and Hero Brian. I don't know why I can't talk today. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, just make sure you have these three downloaded. Uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, go back to this folder right here uh, in our bin. And we need to find a, a file called uh, Minecraft.jar or Minecraft Executable Jar file. Go ahead and right-click that and open with WinRAR. Uh, go ahead and open that up, and you can use 7-zip as well, but when you do open it, make sure you go ahead and click the meta inf folder here, and right-click it and delete files, hit yes. If you fail to delete that, oh, there goes my phone. If you fail to delete that, then uh, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to, you're going to get like a black screen, or you're going to get stuck at the end of a loading screen. Um, so yeah, just make sure you delete that, it's pretty important. So now we're going to go and open up Mod Loader off our desktop. Let's go and open that up. And we're just going to go ahead and right click, select all, and drag and drop it into the Minecraft.jar like so. Hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now go ahead and open up Audio Mod. Now in Audio Mod, there's only three files here. Right click, select all, and drag and drop it into the Minecraft.jar like before. Hit OK. Now we do need to keep Minecraft.jar open still, so go ahead and close, uh, close Audio Mod. Now you got that folder called Hero Brian 2.85 or whatever it's called. Just go ahead and open that up. And on the side here, you're going to see a folder. Open that folder up. Now inside here, you're going to see a uh, a folder called into dot Minecraft or just you know just whatever. Um, and then you're going to see one called into underscore Minecraft dot jar. So 
don't get these two confused. This part's pretty important. So go ahead and open up the into underscore Minecraft jar, and inside here, right click, select all, and drag and drop it into your Minecraft jar. Hit OK, and then go ahead and go back. And so we got that in a Minecraft jar, jar. So now we can go ahead and close the Minecraft jar. We don't need it anymore. So close that. And so now we got uh, we got to go back to our dot Minecraft. So go back. And as you can see, uh, the dot Minecraft has been resources, save stats, that kind of stuff. Um, so we need to go in and open up the folder that says into dot Minecraft. So open that up, and then just uh, highlight everything in here, drag and drop it into your uh, little folder here. Do this for all items, yes, and there you go. So now the mod should be installed correctly. So go ahead and close this, and go ahead and close this. Uh, I'm going to delete these three files because I don't need them anymore. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and launch my Minecraft. I also don't need to have my downloads folder. So let's go and see if I can log in. And this is actually the first time I've installed the mod, so I'm pretty sure uh, that should work. So we'll go ahead and see. All in all, usually it, this is what I do to prove that I know what I'm doing. And there we go, no black screen as usual. So now do keep in mind, if you get a black screen or you get stuck at the end of a loading screen, please make sure you delete the meta inf in that, uh, that Minecraft.jar folder. If you don't if you said you did everything right, delete your dot Minecraft, completely redo it, um, and you should have backed up your dot Minecraft. Most people do that before they do a tutorial, so just make sure you do that. We're gonna go and log in. I'll show you guys that it's working or something. Uh, it's gonna create a world for creative. So here we go. It's generating up. Uh, I will show you some footage. I don't know. I'll find something in the game that normally isn't in Minecraft, like what? Hello, chicken. Alright, let's go find something. Oh, this is a really nice world, too. Um, uh, I don't know. All I know is you need gold blocks and, like, there's nether. There's some sort of custom nether rack block as well. Let's see if we can find it. It should be around here somewhere. There's another rack. But I'm pretty sure you need some sort of. There it is. Hero Bind Totem. So, yeah. Um, basically, just to make it, I'm. Whoops, I accidentally clicked Alt. That was weird. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is go like this. I, I'm not really sure. I just had the mod requested. I'm just showing how to install it. Oh. Okay. Yep, so that, that, uh, that's working. So, yeah. Um, as usual, thank you guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys the next time. Um, more tutorials coming up soon. So, uh, yeah, feel free to leave comments of any other tutorials you guys want. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.